Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Hey guys, my name's I Blast Off, and welcome to the Alan Wake walkthrough on Hard. So, this is where we start off where Alan's just got off his car and he realizes he's just killed a hitchhiker whose body is gone. Disappearing. Disappearing? Yeah, well, he's disappeared somewhere. Something crazy is going on, and we don't know. So, yeah, this teaches you how to use Alan and not use him because that would be dirty. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I had to use the controls and get a feel for the game, really. And this is my first playthrough, guys, so if I miss anything, I apologise, but I do intend to give you tips and help you through the game and really help you unlock all the achievements and such. I mean, when I first played this, this is, I played it for 20 minutes, maybe, this game so far, and I missed that first Coffee Thermos when I first played it. So make sure you run straight and not towards the lighthouse to pick that up. So you can add that for your achievement. And uh, yeah, so you see the guy, the hitchhiker. He's not happy. He is not a happy bunny. And he uh, he comes out of nowhere. Like the exorcist. And starts smashing shit up and chucking buckets at you. So just run away. I mean, there's no point spending time looking at him. He, he's quite, he does have some good things to say though. It's quite cool. It gives the story a little push. But yeah, um, generally just keep moving. and teach you how to jump and... Get down to the next bit where it shows you how to dodge, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, rather you missed your deadline, you naughty boy. So yeah, if you use LB and the left analog stick, you can dodge an attack, and if you do it the right time, you get a cinematic. And if you do it, but not at the right time, you can still dodge it. But sometimes you don't get a cinematic. So I quite like the cinematics. I think it's quite cool. So I go for them usually. <laughs> uh, so yeah, keep on running. There's no secrets as such just yet. But when I was doing this video, I realised that um, I was kind of running out of sprint a lot. And I just watched Alan get out of breath. And I'm not really into watching old men get out of breath. So yeah, use your sprint wisely, guys, if you want to uh, get through the game without hearing a guy go... <gasps> That was quite a good impression, actually. So yeah, head towards the light. It really is a game of light versus darkness, and it really portrays it awesomely, if that's a word to be used. So yeah, run up the bridge, meet your buddy, Clay Stewart. Bear in mind, this is episode one, which is called Nightmare, so I'm imagining it as a nightmare. But like I say, I've only played 20 minutes, I've only got to the lighthouse. So... <laughs> I really don't know yet. So it's cool, it's cool you can uh, watch it unfold as I do. And, um, yeah, so at the moment you're inside the cabin, and poor old Clay's been left outside to get decapitated by the hitchhiker, which is now a dark poltergeist soul being thing, which is cool. 
We love that stuff around here. And, um, yeah, when you're in the cabin, there's not much you can do. Um, I'm sure I saw an achievement that it said if you watch every TV show. So I'm not sure if these eyes count as a TV show, considering I have no idea yet. But I will, guys, and I'm going to play it through on Nightmare again. So if I do miss anything, I'm going to go through and give all the achievements and cover it all in separate videos. So no fear of missing out. But yeah, you don't have to look at the crazy eyes if you don't want to. Anyway, shortly after that, the room goes berserk, as you can see. And it's just cool the way uh, Alan sort of plays and <laughs> reads out the story and really grips you into the game. I mean, I had headphones on and, and the room was dark and it's, it's just so good. It's really getting into the scene. I might even set a candle up later and see if it flickers. Just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah, anyway, you meet Jesus, who is a voice from the gods who can enter your dreams randomly. And he teaches you how to use the light to protect yourself from uh, the darkness. And the light heals you up. In this dream, anyway. And I'm sure it does throughout the game. But, um... Yeah, listen to Jesus in the sky, because he gives you some good tips. And there's a few... I think, actually, there's only one secret left in this video. But the other, I've got a few in the next video. That's all good. I'll get that up as soon as I can. Yeah, so Jesus um, makes a lovely staircase for us out of timber, which is quite cool. Thanks, G. Um, yeah, so just run down there. What's coming up? You have to dodge uh, the hitchhiker's attacks, which teaches you how to dodge. Quite cool. Oh, no, wait. We've already done that. <laughs> uh, I'm being a retard again. Sorry, guys. Yeah, so he teaches you how to get rid of the darkness because it makes him vulnerable and you he sends you down a flashlight wow cheers Jesus so not only can he do wine but he's got flashlights and guns up there as well sorry I'm not religious so don't hate on me I'm just making a joke but yeah eradicate the darkness from him and then uh, Jesus will say you did it <laughs> cheers G yeah, what I like to do, because um, when you're actually using the flashlight, as you can see in the top left, you see the flashlight's refilling. If that actually goes down to the bottom, you actually have to put in another battery, which could cost you your life, especially on hard, because I think it's only three hits before you die. So you really want to watch that and make sure you don't use up all the battery whilst you're in a fight. It's pretty much why I died the first time. And uh, yeah, there's probably some random achievement, like complete the game in under five batteries or something. I don't know. I'm making shit up now. But yeah, you've still got to head towards the lighthouse, and this is still tutorial mode. Anywho, and on this fence, where I'm looking at now, there is actually a can of pyramids, which you need to shoot down if you're looking to get uh, one of the trophies that says shoot down five can of pyramids. I missed that one on my first go as well, but I've managed to <laughs> pick it up again. Yeah, so don't spend too much time shooting them, guys, because you can just run past them. And then I turn around just to slow them down because they're actually pretty damn fast and uh, they will kill you pretty quickly. So, yeah, like I say, I do intend to do this on Nightmare after, considering you have to plant through on hard first. But yeah, pick up the flare from here and make sure you got the ammo. And I'll see you in part two. Later, dudes.